Alien Abductions. Truth or Myth by John Landon. Benefrio. Peter Marshall. Pantera Day. A huge abundance of people have been claiming to have been abducted by possible aliens, and many more have also said to have been who have seen UFOs. UFOs being unidentified flying objects. Some have also even gone so far as saying they've been crossbred forcefully with extraterrestrial beings. As time goes on, more and more people have supposedly seen extraterrestrial life. And since they're a huge part in our culture, aliens are also quite a large theme in it. Um, the most popular alien movie is E.T. Extraterrestrial, a mid-1980s Steven Spielberg uh, film. But are these claims true? Since the 1950s, media sources have claimed interactions with extraterrestrial life. Some claim to have have physical proof with... Several people will devote their lives to prove that aliens have visited Earth. Historical monuments support alien existence, including the Egyptian pyramids. And the Egyptian pyramids, think about it. How would they have moved such huge stone blocks to make such a huge pyramid, such as the pyramids in Giza? Also, celebrities, including Fran Drescher and many more, and her husband, have claimed being abducted. Some religions, sometimes, some, some religions support beliefs in aliens, such as Scientology. This photo was taken in February of 1942. Right here, where all the light sources connect, is a, is a UFO or unidentified flying object that they attempted to shoot down using AA guns or anti-aircraft guns. They never succeeded in shooting this down. SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Life, uh, Intelligence, um, has found no evidence at all supporting alien beliefs. Evidence is testimonial and lacking in physical proof, making for a very weak defense. Lots of the false alarms that you hear about have occurred from fake signals being emitted by radio waves. Also, a majority of the confirmed unidentified flying object sightings have been weather balloons. Studies show that memories is a very weak way to support evidence and can easily be manipulated, and that is why when trying to convict a cr person of a crime, you cannot rely on memory. Many people have experienced vivid and realistic dreams that lead them to believe they've experienced extraterrestrial interactions. Others have believed they've interacted with aliens through drug-induced hallucinations. The most common reason of people believing aliens is actually um, mass paranoia. People's possible experiences lead other people believing they've experienced extraterrestrial interaction. This photo in the corner is of SETI, and it, it is a satellite system that broadcasts radio waves into space and waits for a response. Any questions?